Hey everyone, welcome back to another session with me. I am Sanita Saxena and this is the bookmark special and this is the last bookmark that we drew. Right? Hope you are enjoying the series. Thank you for all your feedbacks and suggestions. They are really valuable to me. Let's get started with today's session. So what I am going to do is create a nice background with my watercolor panel. Yeah. So you can also use watercolor pencils whatever you are comfortable with just creating a kind of a background right so I have just added some water on my bookmark and then I am just going to pour some color here on it right and then I'm just going to spread it whichever way it wants to go not thinking much where what right so I'm just letting it move the way it wants to spreading it here and there you can also add few more shades if you want for example orange spread it yeah, so just having some fun not trying to be too systematic here yeah so once we are done with that I will then start to tangle right I'm just giving it two minutes to dry up yes I'm going to leave it there I'm not trying to blend it or take it to the entire bookmark yeah so once the color has dried up right we can now move straight to tangling so let's get started see how do we want to proceed today so what I'm going to do here is first uh, somewhat find the center yeah somewhere here draw a straight line and start with the tangle cubine so I've drawn a straight line and added cubine there and going to come down like this right then again I'm going to add one more again add a square a kite and draw a cubine there and then come down like this right again going to do the same exercise here also draw a kite there insert cubine come down like this right and now I'm going to start with crescent moon in this in between spaces or probably moon pi right I hope you can see clearly yeah and then going to add one more aura add some Knights Bridge or bold lines like these add one more aura add some orbs one more aura and then you can go and on and on add anything you feel like right so I'm going to add some duda again add an aura add some petal shapes add dots inside again add aura right so you can either stop here or you can again 
in this space. Add another aura, add some printums. and close it here. Yeah. So that's one way. Again, I am going to do the same exercise here also. Start with the moon. Two auras. Again, two more. Add some thick lines there, just like Knight's Bridge. Add some orbs, add another aura, fill in the small little spaces in between, add another aura, two more auras, add duda, repeating the same thing you can vary also, right, there is no need to draw it the same way every time, so take your time. And insert nice moon pies. Again, inserting one more. Yeah, in this space, add one more thin oil. Yeah. These spaces also to be inked, cubine, the shooting ones, yeah, so I am going to do this here also. here also yeah exactly the same thing and I have finished the last section also inserted the same moon pie same design same patterns in all the sections yeah so now let us extend this a little more so I'm going to join these and add some more tangles there so it is up to you what do you want to add you can also go with same cubine also right so let's see if we insert cubine itself what happens so i'm going to add some more cubines here right take your time very geometrical tangle or very uh, what should I say tangle inspired from you know buildings or architecture cubine looks like windows panes right so simple tangle to draw gets that three dimension once you shade it otherwise you don't really realize what is this tangle yeah so there are many more such tangles in the entangle you actually understand their worth when you shade them they look very simple otherwise right so once we are done with that I'm just going to add an aura to the whole thing close aura right done with that right now it is up to us what do we want to do in the rest of the tile right so if you want you can make use of the fragments that we learned right so let's see if we want to insert some fragments that we learned some time back in our previous session 
So I'm going to add lines like these and then a little curvy lines. I'm drawing a square grid here with a slight curve to the lines. Right? And then I'll go the other side. Like this. Right? And then I'm going to continue. Let's see how do we want to, yeah. So not thinking much where what, just going with the flow, adding a square grid. Yeah, and we are done. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is add a coffered look to each. Right, so I'm adding a coffered look to each and this is what I am going to do, right? Basically add four dots at four corners like this. Join these dots to the four corners and then join them with each other. That's the whole exercise. Yeah. Again, a hidden one here. So I am doing both those things together, right? Basically dot 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 so I'm putting the dot and joining them together at the same time else you can do it like this must have seen covert ceilings in museums and other places that's the whole idea looks nice with a square grid right So take your time and do that exercise for all. Yeah. So continuing with the same process, still adding the coffering. Take your time. Slowly do that exercise for all the blocks that you created before we add another tangle inside yes this tangle is also called dex because it looks like a tangle yeah so there is a tangle which looks like this is called dex yeah almost finishing there the last few you can always rotate your tile if you are not comfortable drawing all the lines keeping your tile static that's fine in fact better yeah I think we are done as far as coffering is concerned right now let us use a different colored pen uh, let's see how does it work out right so I'm going to use my burgundy pen and let's see if we can add some nice printums there or something else if you feel like and add some copper in the spaces that are left yeah, so this will give a nice glossy background. So don't make your printings too big. In fact, it would be nice to use your brown pen here. Yeah, because it is finer nib. And then use your copper color. 
Where is my copper bond? Yeah, use the copper shade to give that nice background. Yeah, a glossy background. So you can first draw and then do that exercise for all. Yeah, I'm using my brown pen here. So I'm drawing in such a way that I leave some spaces in the four corners. Right, so the printum is slightly slanting here. Uh, kind of an oval shape. Yeah. You can choose a tangle of your choice. This is just one idea. So I am drawing it little oval in shape so that I get spaces. You can also draw it in a circle then also you will get spaces in the four corners that find the way you want. This tangle is also called tortuga. It's a zentangle original wherein we insert printums in squares and printums are slightly oval in shape. Right, so you can make out the overlaps although it is a coffering technique but the tangle formed is called dex and from dex if we add another tangle inside it we move to tortuga right so that's the fun part so let's do that for all first I'm just adding my printums and then I will go back to each of the sections and add the copper yeah moving on to the other side so I finished drawing my printouts and now I'm going to pick up my copper and then go back to each of the blocks and add that touch. You can also do that with gold, just that the copper is blending a little better. So take your time, slowly visit each of the blocks and add the touch of copper at the small little spaces left at the ends. Yeah, take your time, don't haste up, enjoy the process, visit each block. finishing the exercise adding nice coppery tint to all the blocks yeah I hope you can see that gloss yeah yeah so now a little more copper on one side here some shine and shimmer yeah you may may not do it if you like the shades the underlined background I think it is showing in spite of that copper so you might as well do it Right. 
and then I'm going to add some on the other side here. Right? And first we'll shade and then embellish a little more, right? So there are few places where you can go ahead and embellish for example these spaces but there are some whites and there are some uh, you know colored spaces there so we shall see if we want to do anything further let's first go on and shade make sure when you ink there are no blank spaces no dots no gaps that's very important Right, so we take enough time to ink systematically. So I'm now going to shade. Right, so where's my pencil? Yeah. So shading again. Add on the other side. Keep it subtle. Yeah. Let's shade this much first. Blend the graphite. Take your time, blend it nicely, Yeah. Once you have done that, now add on these two sides of your moon. Blend. Don't blend too much. Leave the center. both sides but not the center blend but keep the center without graphite yeah add some graphite here Also add here yeah. blend it with the soft hand. the graphite yeah. so this way you highlight the center piece
and now let us add on one side or probably two sides of the decks or the fragment whatever you want to call it but I am using a very light hand here right so I'm just going to add touches of grey not going to blend too much so take your time so again rotate and add on this line not too much just a touch and then just blur it the inside spaces are small or else you could have added in the inner square also right but the spaces there are small so i'm not touching that another way is to add shading in half of this printum right that's another way to shade go about shading so shading as i keep saying is your personal choice what do you feel like how do you feel like at that point of time just go by that don't be bogged down by that how where the light source where to shade where not to shade how much to shades it's all your personal choice as far as entangle is concerned just that certain things look much uh, you know a little better than uh, other ways so that's how most of the people follow a certain way of shading you know tried and tested ways that's the only thing otherwise just go by what you feel like at that point of time all looks well as far as entangle is concerned that's the beauty of the tangles that's the beauty of the patterns right so once we are done with that i'm now going to pick up my chalk and add some chalk in this section where i have not added graphite Highlight those sections so that they look curled up. Right? You can also add some chalk here, a little touch on these sections where you have not added graphite. Right, on these sections, a little on the edges, a little on the edges. Right, so let us first blend this much. And then we shall see if we want to do something else. Like so use a different blending stuff. Don't use the same as the black one and blend, soften the white chalk, soften it at other places that you have added it. That's our work for today. Now if you want you can add few more things here. Again redoing some of the lines which I want to be prominent. For example these borders. Right. So now what simple things you can do is pick up your O8 and add some bit of embellishments here and there for example white shows well as soon as your paper takes up a color just like the white chalk the jelly roll also starts to show a lot yeah so take that advantage and 
add small bits here and there so you can always add small little things here and there to add a little more yeah but entirely optional if you want to do you can do that you can do away with that so I am decking it up a little more taking advantage of my jelly roll here you can also do that here so small little dots come very handy as far as decoration is concerned subtle and easy way to embellish and deck up your work yeah so again you can add some outlines here it will add a little more to your piece that's it right we are done so let us close our piece here if you want you can deck it up a little more a little touch with brush pens at the ends would be a good idea darkening the ends a little bit right that's my grey brush pen just adding a touch at the ends You can also touch it a little here. So you can go on and on and on, but somewhere you have to decide to stop. Yeah, so <laughs> it's difficult though. For example, I also feel like putting something here, right? So if you want, you can pick up your some bright color some glossy color something like this let's see if it shows and we can always use it to highlight uh, does it show much no it doesn't show much so let's leave it here right? or you can use your silver we haven't used silver yet right so a little bit of silver yeah it does show it's in a very subtle way yeah so why not add a little more embellishment since everything is gold and copper silver is showing in a very subtle way so as far as these glitter colors metallic colors you have to hold it in a certain way to see that glossy effect because it is reflecting light right but it does show yeah yeah so i'm going to close it here put my chop sign and date it And I shall see you again with another new session on bookmarks. Till then, have a good time. Bye-bye.